As you know, from 11.59 tonight, we will be in, a nas in National Alert Level 4, our national elimination phase. This means everyone must stay home and all businesses must, must close unless they are essential services. Today, the Prime Minister will make a statement in the House regarding the state of national emergency and the powers we need to be able to move New Zealand to alert level four. This also includes noting the epidemic notice in the House today. A state of national emergency has been declared today due to COVID-19 at 12.21 by the Minister of Civil Defence, the Honourable Pene Henare, under the Civil Defence Emergency Management Act 2002. The state of national emergency has been declared because of the unprecedented nature of this global pandemic and to ensure the government has all the powers it needs to slow the spread of COVID-19 and reduce its impact. This allows me, in my statutory role as the Director of Civil Defence Emergency Management, to direct and coordinate personnel, material and other resources to ensure they can be made available. It also provides access to powers that would not normally be available but would be needed to support the delivery and timely response to COVID-19. We expect the Civil Defence Emergency Management powers to be used where necessary to slow the spread of COVID-19, reduce its impact and manage the consequences. Some examples are powers of requisition to manage wider consequences, for example, providing for the conservation and supply of fuel and other essential supplies, closing of roads, stopping people doing activities that may contribute to the emergency, excluding people from places, prohibiting or regulating traffic. This declaration of a state of national emergency ensures that we have all of the legislative means possible, all of the enforcement powers, all of the tools that we need at our disposal to combat the spread of COVID-19. These powers work as a complementary component to the powers that the Director General of Health has and the um, notices that are going through as the epidemic notice. This is an enhancement to the current COVID-19 response arrangements and this is just one part of that response. The state of national emergency applies to all of New Zealand, including the Chatham Islands, Stewart Island and other offshore islands. This sits alongside the powers under the Health Act, the Immigration Act, the Public Finance Act and others, all of which are designed to ensure our health services, emergency services, utilities, goods transport and other essential services, operations and staff can remain up and running. For the purposes of the response, the powers of the Director, Civil Defence Emergency Management and National Controller will reside in one person, me, the Director. This does not change the existing all-of-government response structure. John Ombler remains in his role as the all-of-government controller. I'd like to reinforce the critical importance of everybody doing their part to make sure that we can save lives and beat COVID-19. Each of you has a role in helping to save a life. Self-isolation means people must stop all interactions with others outside of their households. And as the Prime Minister said... Sorry. The importance of us all being able to create that circle um, to, in the bubble to be able to make sure that we can stay together self-isolated, having no contact with people outside of that. Today we will also be issuing a national, uh, nationwide emergency mobile alert to all of New Zealand between 6 and 7 o'clock tonight. This will be issued to reinforce to New Zealanders how critical these actions are. Thank you. So our combined total of confirmed and probable cases in New Zealand to date is 205. And we will continue each day to report that combined total. More details of the cases, including the probable cases, will be provided on our website, that is the Ministry of Health website shortly, and updated as new details emerge. There are 22 individuals that we can confirm have recovered from COVID-19 infection. We will also update this number daily. There are currently six people in hospital with COVID-19, all in a stable condition, three are in Wellington, Hospital, Wellington Regional Hospital, one in Rotorua and two in Waikato. None are in the intensive care unit. Three patients uh, with a COVID-19 infection were discharged from hospital yesterday. 
So our laboratories are working to process and report test results as quickly as possible. Yesterday, across the country, 1,421 tests were processed. The total number of tests processed to date is 9,780. A reminder that anyone who is awaiting a test result should be in strict self-isolation until advised of the result of their test. That includes effectively quarantining themselves out off from other family and household members as well. We will continue to test people who need to be tested. The cases I'm reporting today, as with other cases, are being actively followed up by Public Health and Ministry of Health staff. What we continue to see is that the majority of cases still have a direct link to overseas travel, including being in the same household as someone who has returned from overseas, or they have attended a known event or are part of a cluster where there are other cases, an example being the World Hereford Cattle Conference in Queenstown earlier this month, or they are other close contacts of a confirmed case. We now have five confirmed cases within the community in one school, the Marist College in Auckland. The school is closed and has been closed all week and all students and staff are being managed as close contacts. This means they are in self-isolation, uh, self, uh, monitored at home for the next 14 days or for the 14 days since they last had contact with each other. So this means staff and students should not congregate with anyone outside their home. They will be in the same boat as all New Zealanders, of course, from midnight tonight, and they should keep physical distance from other people in their same household for this period. There are a number of staff members at that school who are being tested or are about to be tested as they have symptoms. So we do have some community transmission in New Zealand. This has been, uh, four cases are categorised as community transmission and a number of cases we are investigating are also suspected to be community transmission. I would say that even as we go into alert, le alert level four, we will continue to see a rise in cases for at least 10 days. That is because the infections we are finding today and over the coming week to 10 days are people who have been infected before today. So the numbers will continue to increase before they turn around. That turnaround will happen if all New Zealanders do what is being asked of them. That is, to stay at home, to break the chain and save lives. So I encourage all New Zealanders, as later today we officially uh, move to alert level four, to do just that and in particular also to look after yourselves and to look after other people.